You know, it doesn't have to run from your country to become a refugee. I became multiple refugee in my own country, had to move from one village to another village. You run, if your God was in the kitchen, you leave the gods. If you had some clothes, you leave the clothes, you just run for your life. My name is Claudine, and at six years old, I became orphan. It was a trauma, but I never took it as trauma. I took it as something normal. The change that we want to create begins within, and for me to be able to do and talk the way I'm talking today, people had to work on my inner being. I got a chance to go to school and be connected with uh, people who have invested so much of their energy into my growth. And it through Cobras that I got to meet with Melissa, who is the founder of Golden Bridge. I wouldn't have had a chance to get to heal from my void, longing to have a mother figure as I grew up, if I didn't have a chance to talk and to sit with other women through Melissa's facility. She's the one that inspired me to believe that even Congo can become united. Most of people, they like, Claudine, you've traveled and you really have potential connections. You don't need to come back to this crazy country, Congo. And what I always tell them is that if all of us, we just think that going out there is the best, then no one is going to change Congo. The best place for me to be, it's here, home. With Golden Bridge, I was introduced on the menstrual hygiene education. We learned how to make the womb. It was about being familiar with the features that we have inside ourselves as women, something that I felt was missing in my community. So many parents here in Africa or DRC, they think that ladies don't have that need of going to school. Because they say, even if I get education, I'll just start giving children. Once I'm not educated, I can't also educate my children. And with that, we have bad leaders. The culture that do not allow women to really live and feel empowered as they are supposed to be. You know, in Africa, there's so much patriarchal, so that's also an issue. So when we are trying to create this women empowerment programs, it's, it's kind of awakening so many things, and that's why I'm more interested in bringing in men's opinions as well. So there is hope that if we work as partners, we can build a better world for women. I work now with the people of my country. Uh, comment est-ce qu'ils peuvent vraiment être en connexion avec les femmes qui sont négligées, uh, de voir comment utiliser uh, le mouvement comme um, l'arme pour vraiment changer des choses positivement. This is Nguvuya Africa program. In English, it's the power of Africa. We have girl empowerment talks where we are now going to be having the reusable pad trainings. Claudine taught me about menstruation and also how to make those pads. Before that, I could just stay in the home because uh, to get outside was a big problem. J'ai appris. On nous a appris comment on peut fabriquer, fabriquer ces, ces cotex, comment on peut l'utiliser et comment on peut les protéger. On nous a appris de faire beaucoup de choses. On nous a enseigné ce qu'on n'est pas. Beneza wa elezea kwenye nishifunza ni kuwamea suwa metupatea edikasyo wa mzuri na kumafaya kujikinga mumwili na kisi tuneza jiproteje kusekse yetu kusema tuzipate na tuzipate bugonjo. Je eme sa, je eme vrema, je eve retourne vrema. Tujifunza maumifu ya mtumbu sita uko mregre wali tufundisha kisi meza jikinga ili ili maumifu ishe. Certain fi, ili ya mama, Les, les trompes, souvent, ils disent des choses 
qui, qui ne sont pas claires, disons. Mais en fait, l'information qu'on les a données, il les aidera à, à, se, à se distinguer, disons, des autres filles qui ne sont pas informées. I'm hoping by the time they leave this place, they really be talking about anything in menstrual hygiene freely without shame. We have dreams, but if no one tells us that you can make it, we can't make it. And here I am working with communities so that they can also see their dreams becoming true.